So we're here in my uh, studio place, crib, experimental lab, whatever you call it. Um, this is part of, a, we have a label called Inner Visions. That's where it started. In here I do all my productions with either my partner Christian, where we have a project called Arm. We have an agency here, we have a, um, um, a distribution here, and uh, also we actually have an event company, basically. And all this is combined here, and it's a nice place. The most important thing in here for me is uh, it feels really good and recording sounds actually quite good. And, and the vibe is nice and that makes better mu music if you ask me. I have to say maybe that I don't mix m my music myself. It wasn't really important for me how it sounded in the studio until I fi figured out that it's actually so much work for the engineer to like, you know, kill all the frequencies that are like running around my mixes and, all, and I mean especially bass is a problem especially in club music so let's say you have a kick drum that sounded in my studio amazingly big and what because it was just the one frequency that had the room resonance and then when I get to the to the engineer and it's like boop, boop. <laughs> Uh, so I felt I have to do something about it and the first step was really like getting good speakers obviously but then soon the treatment and then lots of you know like small improvements we got where we are and one of these improvements is obviously uh, the Trillof system. My first time hearing a Trillof was actually um, when we made the first improvements here. We still felt like okay something is really wrong and then I spoke to a friend who presented the Trillof to us and uh, he installed it, made the measurement, you know, made the microphone and and immediately, like really, the, like the first thing I heard was like, wow, <laughs> like really, so that's how much it changed. And it was not only the frequencies that helped a lot in this room, but also re the face cor correction, you know, that was a thing I, I never had in mind that this could be a problem, but it's such a big change. And that's how it started with it. And then we like, over the years improved it. Now we have uh, subwoofers here added that are controlled via the Trinov and so on. I think it's actually really simple. You have to find the right place basically and, and that's it. And then be quiet and done. Um, so I, I think that was really nice. And also I, I like that um, that you can do this multi-spot things because that's actually for us especially interesting because we're often two people, right? So I have two settings. One is when I work alone and one of us when I work with somebody else and it helps a lot. I think the main impact the Trinov has on the sound is the clarity. So when I switch it off, I sometimes do to get an idea, you know, you immediately feel like kind of like lost in the room. So again, I don't mix here, but I need like you know, I want to have the mix as close as I can. And for that, it's really important to hear everything, right? The Trinov really get that, that extra push that it makes it really, it's kind of, it's really like you're in the mix, basically. I, I can't imagine working without it, to be honest. It was the, probably one of the most important investments for my studio, for sure in the last years. I mean, I should, you know, I should say, of course, that instrument or that synth is, uh, and emotionally, it, I'm more attached to a synth or, or like a piano or whatever. But many years ago, I was cabling everything by myself. And uh, since I had um, a, a guy here who cabled everything really neat and clean with a, you know, with like make a plan for it, patch bay, da, da, da. It's kind of like you don't think about it anymore. And as soon as you have that state, you don't want to lose it. And it's the same with the trade-off. It's not something that is sensational every day for me. I mean, it was sensational in the beginning, but I'm used to it now and I can't live without it. It's totally unthinkable that I could let this piece of gear leave the studio. Mm -hmm.